Are you following someone that has gone from opportunity to opportunity to opportunity? Be careful, it might just ruin your credibility. I'll talk more about that on this video. Okay, the reason I wanna talk about opportunity hoppers, as I say it, and, and first of all, I, I, have to, I have to hand it to anybody that's constantly going after it, right? I've been in lots of things over the years. I've been made fun of for um, being into new things by other people. I get that. But there is a point where somebody will say, hey, this is the greatest thing ever. You got to join me. This thing is amazing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then six, eight months later, four months later, they're on to the next thing. And suddenly the thing that was the greatest thing ever is now totally demonized. And this new thing is better than anything and nothing can top that. And then a few months later, oh, well, the thing that I was in before and that I couldn't hold a candle. Now this new thing is absolutely incredible. And what happens is, is a lot of those folks have a very strong personality and they will drag large groups of people, many times the disgruntled people that are having a challenging time actually growing uh, any successful business or opportunity, and they'll have followers that lead the way. But here's the problem. If you are that follower, you're going to lose credibility because everybody you're talking to, you're following the pattern. Now you're telling everybody again that the last thing was bad. This new one is good. And there has to be a point where you stop following the greener grass and the latest sizzle and you bear down and you build your business because people prey on lack of quick success. If you've joined a business or an opportunity and you're in it and you haven't seen success quick enough, well, there are certain voices that will come in right into your ear and they'll say, hey, well, you know, you've been in for X, Y, Z and it's the leadership, it's your organization, it's the company's problem. Well, I was never treated well and they'll find all of these excuses and they'll start to demonize and label all the reasons why they didn't see success. It gets you thinking if you're not grounded, suddenly you're in agreement with them. And then the two of you are on to the next thing because you're convinced that that's going to be the deal. And I will tell you something. It's a classic trap. Be very, very careful. It happens in business. It happens in life. It happens in churches. It happens in home-based businesses. It happens to entrepreneurs. It's not uncommon. The key is don't get caught up in their wake because what happens is you'll create so much undertow that when the right thing does come along, it's going to be a little bit like the boy that cried wolf. Remember? Many of you remember the story. And eventually when he cried wolf, when the wolf really did come, they never came. Don't burn the bridges so much by being so jumpy from thing to thing that when you really do decide to settle down, build your business, and turn off the excuses that the very people that you've been sharing it to no longer have the capacity to hear you. I hope videos like this are helpful. Don't forget to follow me at gabriel.sedlak on Instagram. And if you go to my website, you can download the first two chapters of my book, cut it out. It is all about getting your head straight because... The, even the subject I just created, when you're able to deal with all the stuff between the ears, you can anchor yourself, you can get to work, and you can see success, and you won't have all of these things pulling you away and keeping you from actually succeeding one day. There's a lot of traps out there, folks. That's why I wrote Cut It Out to be a blessing. So you can download the first two chapters of it, and you know what? If you like it, and I hope you like it so much, you download the entire book. See you guys on the next video. Bye.